Hello, I'm Dr Philippa Bennett. I'm a senior lecturer in English here at the University of Northampton. The band book I'm going to talk to you about today is the play Mrs Warren's Profession by George Bernard Shaw. The play was written in 1894 but not put on in the public stage until 1924 because it was banned by the Lord Chamberlain for its seeming immorality uh, and for promoting a way of life that was seen as being out of um, the value system of late Victorian society. Mrs Warren's profession is that of brothel keeper and prostitute. So you can see immediately how provocative Shaw is being by giving his play that title uh, when he knows it's going to be performed to a late Victorian audience. But the play has a very strong social message about the reasons women in Mrs Warren's profession uh, have chosen that career path. Why women, working class women, brought up in real poverty and deprivation in the latter part of the 19th century might actually choose prostitution, not because they wanted to, because it was the best option available to them. And Mrs Warren gets a lot of impassioned speeches in the play talking about the fact that she could have gone into the leading factory like some of her stepsisters, but they died early or were crippled or maimed or suffered terribly and had terrible working conditions. She tried bar work but she realises that she's been exploited and her good looks have been exploited simply for somebody else's financial benefit. So Mrs Warren and her sister decide they're going to take matters into their own hands and that they're going to reap the profits of their own good looks and their own energy and enterprise themselves. A lot of the play focuses around Mrs Warren's conversations with her daughter, Vivi. Vivi has just graduated from Cambridge, um, almost top of her year, um, with a maths degree. She's an extremely bright young woman who looks to set herself up uh, in her own um, chambers as an accountant and actuary. So we have in the play a kind of two strands of profession. We have Vivi, the new woman, finally going into a career that was usually only there for men, and we have her mother, taking on perhaps what might be seen as a more old career for women, that of prostitution. And Vivi doesn't know until the play where her mother's money has come from. And it's only during the course of the play that Mrs Warren reveals to Vivi that her education has been paid for through um, these immoral earnings as such. Now Vivi accepts this. She understands the reasons her mother gives as to why she chose to go into that profession. But what shocks Vivi and why Vivi ends up rejecting her mother is because she finds out her mother is still doing it. Vivi assumes that if Mrs Warren was in such a position of hardship that she had to choose that uh, mode of work, why hasn't she stopped when she's made sufficient money and has a comfortable lifestyle? The fact is, Mrs Warren enjoys her work. She employs girls in her brothels, she says that she keeps them safe and well, and that she offers them a much better alternative, a much safer alternative, than if they were walking the streets or if they were working in factories where they would work long hours and die young. It's a very challenging play because of the moral issues it raises, but we also have some really powerful critiques of the way that women and women's work is, is understood and valued in Victorian society. And Mrs Warren doesn't think that what she has done is right any more than she thinks it is wrong. She simply sees it as a very pragmatic decision. She did what she had to do to stay alive and to make a good living for herself. She actually says at one point um, to Vivi that for a, a very poor girl who is, has got the looks and the ability to sort of please a man, she says, well, then it's far better than any other employment open to her. She says, I always thought that that oughtn't to be the case. And she says, it can't be right, Vivi, that there shouldn't be better opportunities for women. I stick to that, she says, it is wrong. But, right or wrong, a girl must make the best of it. What Mrs Warren points out is a fact that there is such limited choice open to women and women are so undervalued by the society in which she lives that sometimes they have to take matters into their own hands and they have to take their own stand. And she doesn't want this for her daughter. She wants her daughter to have a different kind of career. But the play really exposes the hypocrisies and the double standards that underpin Victorian society, particularly about male and female sexuality and particularly about the way women's work is valued and understood. In his own preface to the play, George Bernard Shaw says, no normal woman would be a professional prostitute if she could better herself by being respectable and nor would she marry for money if she could afford to marry for love. 
But what Shaw says is the reason that prostitution is such a social problem is not, as he says, because women are depraved or because men are depraved, but, and I quote here from his preface, but simply because society underpays and undervalues and overworks women so shamefully that the poorest of them are forced into that line of work. So, I give you Mrs. Warren's profession as a play to go away and think about and read and enjoy, and particularly to think about the complex ending to the play. Ultimately, Mrs. Warren uh, seems much more morally liberated than her daughter, Vivi, but still in the end wants her daughter to have a very conventional marriage. And the play also raises uncomfortable questions about women marrying for money too. And one of the questions Mrs. Warren raises is, how far is that different to prostitution if it's simply a sanctioned way of a woman bargaining herself for money? So there's no easy answers in this play. Um, there's no easy or quick moral solution to what happens. And it's a play that leaves a kind of morality in a way up for discussion. But it's a play that very much asks us to think about what it means to be a woman, to work as a woman, to survive as a woman and to live well as a woman if you come from very, very poor background in Victorian society. It doesn't say prostitution is a good thing. It doesn't say prostitution is a, a great career or a profession for women. It does say that for some women it's a lot better than the alternatives on offer at that time. Thank you.